All right, so we're starting lesson 12, session one, okay? Just we're working on location, the difference in facts, and how they're related, okay? You're going to need your composition books. You might want to go get it and then do this for me right here. Guys, you said something like this, okay? Seven groups, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then I'm just going to count. I'm going to put one, one, a tally, one in each in each circle, and they keep going until I get to, to 28. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you don't have anything, should you be doing this? Yes. Or double checking your answers, right? Two, eight, 11, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay. So how many in each group? Four. Four. So 27 divided by, uh, 28 divided by 7 is? Four. Four. Okay. If I'm using the yellow card, I'm going to go to 7, go straight across to 28, then go straight up. All right. So I'm going to give you an example right here. It says Kenny has 24 marbles. So what's the total? Okay, we're on page 251. Okay. He puts the same number of marbles in each of three bags. So how many bags? Three. How many marbles are in each bag? Do we know how many are in each bag? I haven't done anything yet. But we, I do know what the total is. How many marbles does he have all together? 24, right? Right? 24. I need to, I need to divide those into three groups. Okay, how do I, why, why three groups? Well, because it says that he puts the same number of uh, marbles in three bags. One, two, three. So that's how it would start the problem. Then I'm gonna put a marble in each bag and keep going until I get 24. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Okay, before I do anything else, what well, what's gonna be my division equation for this? So I need the total first. Divided by how many groups I have. So how many groups do I have? Three. And my quotient is how many in each group, right? So how many in each group? Eight. Eight. So that's what you should have. How many marbles are in each bag? Eight. Eight. Explain how you can prove it if you are right. Well, what's the opposite of division? Wow. What's the opposite of division? Multiplication. Okay. So what would be my multiplication equation for this? Just go the opposite. Okay. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. Just go the opposite direction. Eight. Eight times three equals 24. Eight times three equals 24. That's how I would know if I was right or not. It says uh, fact families for multiplication and division are groups of related equations. Okay. All the equations or facts use the same. Three numbers in this case, okay? So look at this. It says, say you need to solve something divided by 9 equals 6, okay? You can write the facts in this in this family to find, to find one that you, you might know, all right? 
use the arrays to help you complete this uh, fact family. Well, look at this array right here. Okay, what's six times nine or nine times six? Can I use the finger trick? Yeah. Yeah, tell me. How would I know that? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's five on this side, four on this side, right? 54. So six times nine is 54. What's nine times six? 54. What goes here? 54 divided by six is nine, and 54 divided by nine is six. Okay, these are all fact, fact, this is a fact family because it uses the same three numbers. Okay. So looking back to the previous, for to the equation that we saw, that we just had. Okay, it says complete the fact family using the three numbers for this, for this situation. So look at the previous page that we just had. Go to page 251. 251. Okay. So give me the fact family for that problem. Okay. What would be my divisions and multiplication equations? Okay. 8 times 3 is 24. What's the other one? Three times eight is twenty-four. What would be the division equations? Twenty-four divided by three equals eight, and twenty-four divided by eight equals three. It says how how are the multiplication of facts and the fact families above alike? So these right here. How are these alike? These right here. Multiplication of facts and the family of here. How are those alike? Alana? They all have the same numbers in each equation. Okay. Do they both have the same answer? Yeah. Yeah. Yes or no? Okay, good, because on, on both 24? Okay, okay. got to listen carefully before you answer me. Okay, because I said, do they both have the same answer? Okay, I know it's a little hard because it's Monday and the weather's, you know, okay, but I still need for you to participate. And it's it was a 40 weekend, so I'm assuming he has probably stayed up late. Okay. How are they different? How are these two different right here? Jasmine, how are they different? Yes, the two factors, the eight and the three, are switched, right? Okay, yeah. Okay. So how are the division facts alike, and how are they the same? Lena? Okay, both of them are divided by 24, okay? The, 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 the same uh, three numbers are the same. Are the quotients the same? Remember, the quotient is a is the answer to a division problem. Yeah. Are the quotients the same? Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on wait, wait. Somebody said yes. These are the quotients. Are they the same answers? No. No. That's how they're different. 